Well, the regional banking sector is having a tough start to 2024. The regional bank ETF, ticker KRE, falling around 10% this year on commercial real estate jitters. And now the mountain of loans on that real estate coming due is getting bigger. Here to tell us more is Yahoo Finance's David Hollerith. David. The Kiko CRE was a worry for real estate and bank investors uh, for much of last year. And those concerns of, of weakness have, have obviously become a little bit louder in recent weeks. Um, some of Wall Street's biggest names and also uh, policymakers have addressed the issue. Um, and what's going on here is there is about uh, $929 billion in CRE loans that are set to expire this year. Um, and that comes from the Mortgage Bankers Association. The unique thing there is that that is 28% higher than what they initially had forecasted. So what's going on here is essentially how banks have been able to stave off CRE losses at this point, is that they've been able to push back or work out um, their loans with borrowers. And in many cases, this looks like a tried and true um, strategy that banks have used, just what's sort of known as pretend and extend. Now, the deal here is that um, they can continue to work out the same loans, either for some kind of add-on agreement or just by having the borrower pay the same amount of interest rate as they have been under the current loan that has is past expiry. Um, and this is obviously a point where, you know, banks will lose money. They leave money on the table by not having borrowers refinance, but they obviously get to avoid and insulate their balance sheets in a way from having to mark down their loans and, and in a worst case scenario, scenario having to have borrower default. So that is in some ways why banks have been able to insulate themselves from these higher uh, property value losses we've seen in sort of the uh, commercial mortgage backed uh, securities market. David, you mentioned pretend and extend. I mean, how long can banks continue to extend those loan expiration dates? Yeah, that's the big question here. I mean, it, it, that's exactly what happened has is happening this year is that a lot of the loans um, that were supposed to come out expire last year have just been pushed back. And, you know, the question is, how long can banks and their borrowers continue to push back these payments? Uh, and it really comes down to, you know, where regulators stand on this. And, and from what we understand, um, as long as borrowers can continue to make their uh current payments, things are okay. And loans don't necessarily need to be marked down. But that comes down to the state of borrowers and the economy at large, and also which loans are coming at due. So banks uh, in general hold about half of the loans that are coming due this year. Um, and of that total, uh, by as far as what those uh, loans are tied to, 12% are to multifamily, about 25% maturing are to office space, and about 38% are to hotels. So it's really going to come down to how those borrowers' cash flow looks um, over the coming year.